Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to do an in-depth review of this FR Sky R9 Slim plus OTA radio receiver module guys. This is a 900 megahertz radio receiver module. So this is a long range radio receiver module if you want to install it onto your drone frame. In addition to unboxing guys, I will also be telling you what are the functions and features which this has to offer. And towards the end of the video guys, I will also be telling you how to wire this radio receiver onto your flight controller. So guys, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information information or instructions that I have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys whenever you purchase this radio receiver module guys it comes in this transparent packaging let's quickly unbox this and see what are the contents inside so guys there is nothing more inside the packaging so I'll keep the packaging aside so these are all the components that is available inside this packaging guys. So here you can see it comes with two types of jumper cable and this is your radio receiver module guys that comes along with this two immortal T radio transmission antenna guys. And apart from that guys it comes with this user manual guys. It comes with basic instructions on how to configure this and what is the pin diagram. If you want guys you can go through it but later in this video guys I will also be telling you how to configure this and how to connect it onto the flight controller. So ensure that guys you stay tuned to this video. So guys for now I will keep the user manual aside and let's quickly see the components inside so guys, before we can look at the radio receiver module itself let's look at the jumper connection guys here you can see it comes with two micro JST connection guys which is clearly marked with connection type 1 and connection type 2 the real difference between these two jumper connection is the way you connect it on to your radio receiver module guys because here you can see normally the wires are color coded the red wire being the positive and the black wire being the ground so here you would notice that in connection one on to the right side guys you can see for connection type one you have the red wire and for connection two guys here on to the left side guys here you can see there is a red wire and on to the right side guys you can see for connection 2 there is a black wire so you can see the positive and negative terminals for powering your radio receivers are inverted guys which is why guys you have two different types of JST jumper connection included on to this radio receiver module guys because there are two ways in which you can connect this radio receiver module so that being said guys here you can see it is clearly labeled as connection type 1 and connection type 2 so depending upon the type of connection or the port that you are using on the radio receiver guys you will be using the corresponding JST so as to have the correct color coding to be used while connecting this onto your flight controller so that is what it is used for let's keep the jumper connection aside for now so guys here you can see this is your radio receiver module guys as I have told you before this is 900 megahertz radio receiver so this is a long range radio receiver which will give you more than 10 kilometers of range depending upon the interference that you have in your area so which is why guys this is very popular radio receiver this is called FR Sky R9 Slim plus OTA so this supports the firmware upgrade over the air guys so you can wirelessly upgrade the firmware and flash the firmware onto this radio receiver guys so as to match with the firmware that you have on the transmitter so which is also something really nice guys here you can see it supports FR Sky access protocol it also supports the telemetry and it has an OTA for flashing the firmware guys so that is what it is used for here on to the top side guys here you can see there are two GST connection guys which is why you have two type of GST connector pin that is available you don't have to use both at the same time guys you have to use any one type of connection that you prefer depending upon the leveling that you have on to this side guys where it says it is R9 Slim OTA guys here you have ports called VCC S port which is your telemetry port your S bus in S bus out your RSSI out TX and RX and ground guys which in a minute guys I will also tell you how to use these ports and connect it to the flight controller here you have the binding button or the flashing button so here that is the small button that you have and then you have your red and green LED guys so as to give the status of the radio receiver that you have in a minute guys I will also explain what those red and green LED means and how to read the statuses so that is what it is used for on to the other side guys here you have the QR code and then you can see you have the VCC and then you have TX and RX and then from channel 4 to 1 and then ground so you can see guys the 
ports here are for voltage and ground is inverted guys which is why you can see there is a different type of connection that you need to use so here you can see the one where you have the s port is connection type one so you will be using the gst connector which is marked with connection one if you are using the port where you have channels and tx and rx pin mark so this is connector type 2 which is also mentioned here on to the radio receiver guys so you will be using the gst connector which says connector type 2 so which is why guys depending upon the type of connection and the port that you are using on to the radio receiver guys you will be using the corresponding gst connector so as to be able to connect it properly using the correct color coding guys so that is what it is used for guys here onto the back side guys you can see it comes with double immortal t antenna guys which is already connected onto your radio receiver so as to give you the longest possible range and penetration in addition to that guys this immortal t antennas as you know are known for their sturdiness and durability guys so this will also give you the strength to the build and to the antenna during the crashes if you have so this is what it looks like so that is what you have as per the physical specification guys now let's quickly look at the technical specifications and functions and how to connect it onto your flight controller so guys as per the technical specification goes for this fr sky xs r9 slim 900 megahertz radio receiver there is nothing much to show guys here you can see this is your radio receiver itself as i have shown you before guys it has two ways to connect connection type 1 and connection type 2 connection type 1 has vcc s port s bus in s bus out rssi out tx1 rx1 ground and on the other side on the connection 2 you have vcc channel 6 and channel 5 has tx and rx for your radio control connection guys and channel 4 3 2 and 1 are open channels to connect any other peripherals that you want to connect directly onto your radio receiver guys and then you have ground on the bottom so that is what you have connection type 1 and connection type 2 here you guys you can see here you have binding and the flashing button guys so as to be able to flash the firmware onto your radio receiver guys or to put your radio receiver into the binding mode here onto the side guys here you have a port where you have a green led and a red led guys here onto the right side you can see the statuses so when red led is on green led is on and not blinking it is in the state of register when both are flashing it is registered successfully when red led is off and green led is on that means your radio receiver is properly bind to your radio transmitter when your red led is off when green led is flashing that means your radio receiver is working properly and you are receiving the data from your radio transmitter and then when your red led is flashing and your green led is off that means your radio receiver is not getting any signal and it is in the fail safe mode so that is what your led indicators means as per the technical specification given by fr sky guys tx1 is an inverted s bus signal and rx1 is an inverted s port signal just in case your flight controller supports inverted s bus signal and inverted s port signal guys so as you know guys s port is nothing more than your telemetry port so as to receive the telemetry directly from your flight controller uart if you have available and then you can configure this part into your ports that i will show you guys in my future videos how to configure your s port telemetry or smart port telemetry onto your flight controller ports and then you have s bus in and s bus out which will be connected onto your flight controller so as to receive the control signal directly from the transmitter and then you have an rssi out guys which is an analog output of the strength of the signal that your radio receiver is receiving from your transmitter it ranges from 0 to 3.3 .3 volt guys that will give you the strength of the signal that is what it is used for and vcc and ground guys to power your module it is always a good practice guys to power your module using the power port that you have on the flight controller that gets powered up using the power of the usb guys so that whenever you are configuring your flight controller guys you will be able to configure your radio receiver without powering your whole flight controller using an external battery which is also something really nice and important to consider whenever you are connecting the fr sky access or any other radio receiver guys that you have so here you can see guys it has an operating voltage from 3.5 volt to 12.6 volt so it can 
be powered up using 1s to 3s lipo battery or the port that you have available onto your flight controller it has an operating current of 100 milliampere whenever you connect it or power it up using the 5 volt connection operating range of this fr sky xs r9 slim is 10 kilometer or above as you know this operates on 900 megahertz frequency so it is a long range radio receiver guys so it will give you a larger distance of control and penetration so that you can control your drone from larger distances so which is why guys it is a long range radio receiver guys it has an firmware upgradable guys so as you know it supports an ota so you do not need to upgrade the firmware by connecting this onto your pc or to your usb to ttl converter guys so as to be able to flash the firmware you can directly flash the firmware right from your radio transmitter over the wireless connection that you have between your radio transmitter and radio receiver guys so which is why it supports an ota which is also something really nice so guys this radio receiver is compatible with your r9m 2019 radio transmitter r9m light radio transmitter r9m light pro radio transmitter with an access protocol so this radio receiver guys is compatible with both access protocol and without access protocol radio transmitter which is also something really nice so these are all the technical specification guys now let's quickly see on how to wire this FR Sky XS R9 Slim onto your flight controller. As you know guys, I have SpeedyB F7 version 2 flight controller. This is the flight controller that I have. Here you have a dedicated place guys where you can connect your radio receiver guys. As I have told you before guys, this radio receiver needs to be powered up using the USB power guys. So it has a two power pads where you can connect and power this radio receiver. You have 4V5 and 3V3, but I'm going to connect it to 4V5 so as to give it extra power. And also guys, it is recommended to connect this radio receivers with not less than 5 volts. So guys, this 4V5 volt is sufficient enough to power your radio receiver and it will get powered on directly from the usb power guys which is also something really nice so here you can see guys it has ground 4v5 r1 t1 and this rs pad is for your analog rssi input and also in addition to that guys for s port i'll be using t3 pad here on my flight controller as r3 t3 is not used anywhere else on my flight controller so that is what I'm going to use. So let's quickly do the connection. So let's power it up using VCC. VCC will be connected to 4V5 as I have told you before. And then ground to ground. And then your smart port is going to be connected to T3. As I have told you before, this smart port is nothing more than your telemetry receiver port. So as to transmit the telemetry information onto your radio receiver. So which is why guys, this is a receiver port onto your radio receiver. So it is going to be a transmitter port onto your flight controller. So as to transmit the signal from flight controller and receive it onto your S port of the radio receiver and then your radio receiver will in turn transmit it to your radio control where you will be able to view the telemetry so it is important to connect your s port onto tx port of any free uart that you have on your flight controller and then you have s bus in and s bus out guys as you know guys s bus in is an input port guys so it will be connected to a transmitting port of my flight controller so it will go to t1 and then s bus out since it is an output signal from your radio receiver guys so it will be connected to a receiving port of my flight controller which is r1 and then you have rssi out guys which will be connected to rss or rs port that you have on the flight controller so tx1 and rx1 is not going to be connected guys because my flight controller supports directly your s bus and my s port in case your flight controller supports your inverted s port and inverted s bus guys you need to use tx1 and rx1 instead of s port and s bus out so that is what it is used for guys so that is how guys you use these ports to connect the flight controller onto your radio receiver of fr sky access r9 slim plus ota so this is it guys this concludes this video guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies